want to install a backup camera? I got just the trick for you. I'm going to be uh, doing an unboxing for a uh, backup camera that we're going to also do a uh, install on. Uh, this is the uh, Esky, or maybe they say eSky. <clears throat> this is the EC17008 model. Uh, the 170 probably stands for the viewing angle, would be my guess, which happens to be also 170 degrees. Uh, you can see it's got a 300 meter range. Uh, this color, of course, uh, day and night. Uh, weatherproof and anti fog function, and then again, the wide viewing angle. Uh, so here's the box that it came in. Some other stats right there regarding uh, resolution 658 by 588 pixels. It's got 480 uh, lines of resolution, and of course, 12 volt and uh, made in China. Uh, the QR codes right there if you want to scan them. And uh, let's do a unboxing, let's see what's in this thing. Uh, some warranty information it does have a 30 day money back guarantee, 12 month replacement warranty, and uh, what they call a lifetime support guarantee. Sounds pretty good. Uh, we have the uh, VGA connection to connect to your video monitor inside your vehicle. Uh, this one also has uh, a red uh, power lead here that uh, I suspect that you can use to actually grab power from somewhere inside of your dash. Uh, that's actually probably what I'm going to do is hook directly up to the uh, 12 volt accessory circuit near the radio so that the camera will have uh, constant power as opposed to uh, when I'm only in reverse. Uh, my head unit does have the ability to uh, display the uh, rear view camera at any time, which would be sort of neat. So that's the function I'll probably use there. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, you can of course just use the power leads that they supply here and hook up to the reverse light and then of course the black would be for the ground that you would uh, ground somewhere near the back of the vehicle. Uh, here's actually the camera and it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, I've got a couple mounting screws right there and uh, it's, it's pretty heavy. I actually thought this was going to be some type of coated Plastic. They they weren't uh, very clear in their description. Uh, they said metallic, but you know they make some of that metallic paint they put on uh, plastic pieces. But this is definitely metal. Seems pretty well made. You got a cover over the lens there. I'll leave that on there for now. Uh, but there's your VGA and uh, your power connection right there. And it's already got sort of a mounting strip attached. So um, I got a pretty good idea about where I'm going to put this, and we'll get to the install right now. And uh, there's the unboxing for you. And again, this is the uh, Esky E717008. And I bought this off Amazon. Uh, it was around $20. I'll link it in the description. Let's uh, get started on the install. So I have a 2003 uh, Chevy Silverado that uh, does not have a little under trunk sort of flange that uh, a car or SUV would have. Obviously I've just had the uh, tailgate and so looking for a suitable uh, location I found this spot right in here that the camera seems to fit in very nicely actually and maybe a little bit hidden uh, but that seems to work out pretty well right there. And I do have a little slot back there I can feed the wires down through. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have a heck of a time trying to get a screwdriver up in there. I'm going to have to figure out a, uh, a good way to mount this up there. So we'll poke around the garage and see what we can find. So I had some of this uh, plumber's tape. Uh, it's actually a little thicker gauge than, than plumber's tape sort of metal strapping. I was able to cut uh, just a little piece off that I had uh, 
measure that I'm going to mount the uh, camera to. And uh, this little piece, I'll take the camera and show you, uh, fits up in a slot that's exposed right up above that. And so I think I can wedge that in there if I have to put a little bit of uh, caulking or some type of uh, sealant up there to keep it from sliding out, but that, that's pretty tight. I don't think it's going to come out. It's going to be sort of under spring tension. Uh, but that looks pretty good. That's what I'm sort of shooting for. And uh, so now I'm going to mark some holes through this thing. I'm going to put some little tiny tiny bolt second that I have with some lock washers to sort of hold that in place. I believe I've successfully mounted this uh, to this plate uh, here so this should allow me to slip it up in there. I'm going to cut off the uh, excess on the bolts there uh, just so they don't get in the way. Okay well there it is all mounted in there. It actually worked out really really well. Uh, you can see how it sort of tucks up in there and I cut that uh, little metal bracket piece uh, a little longer than it needed to be so that it would uh, sort of have to be held in place under its own spring tension. Um, in addition, the, the nuts on top are, are sort of pushing against it uh, and this thing is uh, extremely tight. It is very solid in there so it's not moving at all. So the only thing left to do is the wiring. And for that, it's underneath. Find a channel and a way to come up inside the cab. So we'll figure that out next. Uh, here's my uh, head unit uh, for my truck. This is a uh, Clarion NX501. And uh, I had all my connections up top here that I'm not using right now. I have some amp connections I have not uh, hooked up, but the uh, video connection uh, I just made back here, and uh, I've sort of fished the wire down this direction. And right here, through that grommet, is the uh, parking brake. So I'm going to shoot down right through that grommet and then uh, feed the wire all the way to the back of the truck. So right under the back of the truck is uh, uh, these connections. Uh, this one here is for the right right turn signal and brake assembly. The top one is for the left side. Um, this one here uh, is the main power feed into this uh, wiring block. Uh, and then this one feeds the uh, license plate lights. Okay, so I determined that uh, at the bottom of this, uh, the second one from the left on the bottom is my constant power. 
uh, which ended up being this brown wire right here. So I'm going to uh, uh, tap tap into that and get my uh, wiring all situated down here and tied up. And uh, still, last thing to do is to find a place for a ground, but uh, that should not be too much trouble. Okay, I got a splice connector on there, on that hot lead, and uh, ended up running the ground over there, just to the uh, sheet metal screw, ground it down to the body, and I uh, got everything tied up here, strapped up, and uh, we're ready to go, test it out. Okay, install complete. And uh, you can see I'm actually in park right now. And uh, the camera is on. I have a uh, camera option on my head unit here. So I can uh, enable this while I'm driving. So let's take a quick drive. Let's check it out. Sort of wish I didn't have to look at those lines on there, but uh, this particular unit, not turn those off. 